Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. My name's Angelique if you are new here and today we're going to start another vlog. The last few weeks I haven't filmed because nothing's really been going on and I've been getting other types of videos out but this week might be a little different. Um, we have a possible hurricane hitting Hawaii and I'm from Utah so I am not used to this. All you need there is some salt, a big truck, and some snow tires and you are good. Um, but a hurricane's a little different and luckily Sawyer is from Florida and so they are quite used to this. So him and his mom have been obviously a huge help. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on my first hurricane. Um, <laughs> we'll see if it hits, we'll see what actually happens. But just in case we are starting to prepare today in case it does. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on my first hurricane experience. This love of mine. A few months ago, Karen Sawyer's mom had sent us this emergency little setup, um, which actually is coming in handy, and it's things that you know we didn't want to think about, and she just helped us with, so that was really nice. Anyways, she has here a literally step-by-step -step of what we need to do and what we need to have, which has been really helpful. What we've done so far today is I went through all of our food and made sure we had enough non-perishable items um, for 14 days just in case um, and then the second thing I did is starting to prepare like extra ice and things for coolers because um, I guess the power goes out quite frequently here so um, I've been trying to prepare for that um, I've also charged all battery chargers all like drill um, batteries things like that and then the last thing I did which I was pretty proud of so I was like, wow, that's a great idea. I went through all of our water bottles and filled them with water so we have extras. I do have emergency water bottles um, outside, um, so that's like more for like drinking water, but I filled these up for like cooking. So all of our extra water bottles are full of water. And then I also thought if necessary, like if it comes down to it, um, before we find out water is turned off, like if the storm is actually going to hit us, I will take all of our pots and fill them with water too, so that way we have them for cooking. And then the last thing that we would do for water is fill up the bathtub. Um, so we have obviously a large source of water. So don't mind the yard work, but that is kind of what I've done so far. Okay, so our main task today is dealing with the plywood. Um, we had been meaning to order plywood just to have on hand in case there ever was a storm. So when we found out there was a storm coming, we went to Home Depot and ordered wood and then we ordered it to have cut, which was really, really nice. Um, so yesterday, so I went and picked up the wood from Home Depot and it's now in the back of the truck. So we're gonna go through. I literally have like, I don't know if you can see this. Oh yeah, I literally have a drawing and the measurements for which piece of wood goes to what window. So I'm gonna mark it with a marker so that way it's easy in case we actually have to throw it up. And also it's good for like the next go round. Um, we're not measuring each time. We'll literally just have something to reference for which piece of wood goes where. So that is gonna be one of our big tasks today. Um, it's kind of nice that we're having to do this only because it makes us get organized for if it does happen and or if it ever happens again we are ready and know what to do so we're gonna head outside and deal with plywood for probably the next couple hours <laughs> so that is the truck full of wood that's where you had to go pick up um you'd be surprised but that plywood is so heavy it's an evolving system Okay, so the boys are unloading the wood. I have my little like ledger right here, so I'm basically just organizing this operation and telling them what goes where. A2. A2. Yeah, that's A2 too. Yeah, it might be the, just the same. So that would be the front window. If it is numbered correctly, then yes. Okay, cut. Okay, now this is getting confusing. Sawyer's looking at it because I can't tell what they did. <laughs> All right, we might need to go get a tape measure and figure out what exactly is going on. Because I know this is right, it's just I think Home Depot marked the pieces of wood wrong, so we'll figure it out. Okay, so we realized that Home Depot just kind of put a random letter on there, so it kind of got confusing, but we're getting through it. Creative. Yeah, they tried. It was helpful, they cut it to be exact, so we're thankful for that. Yay, okay. we have all the pieces. 
all checked off. Thanks, Mom. When she was here at Christmas, went through and measured all these windows and did all the measurements, all the ordering. She argued with Home Depot to cut it, so yeah. thanks, Ma. Yeah, I did that part. Oh, you did that? Yeah, I sat there and stared at the manager till I'm like, you gotta help me, dude. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I, I, the manager was nice. He finally helped me, but. Thank you, some lady in my life. Woohoo! Okay, so we're not gonna board up the house today until like obviously we know if the storm's actually coming and if it's going to be an actual hurricane or just more of a tropical storm. But what we are going to do is board up Sawyer's office. That way that's done um, because his is like a detached unit. So it's like kind of like a little safe room, I guess you could say. Stronghold. Yeah, so it has like the least amount of windows, yada, yada. We're gonna board that up right now. So that way that's done. And then worst case scenario, we'll do the whole house. Well, he'll do the whole house. Basically, I'm just here with a piece of paper telling him what goes where. Yeah. yeah. Copy, woohoo, window one down. Woohoo. Moving on to the big one. Copy, got it. Window number two, done. There's now holes in the house. Oh, gives me anxiety. It's all right, they have like wood filler and stuff. Okay, so the office is boarded up. That's all we're gonna do for now. And we just have a few other things to prepare like fill propane tanks and clean up the furniture. So that is today's plan. All right, a little update. Um, I sent the boys to go get propane, so that was done. Um, our house actually runs off of propane, which is good in case the power goes out. So we have two big tanks for the house and then one for the grill. So that is now done. And I'm gonna head to Target and get a few more batteries and a few other essentials just in case. All right, so I just pulled into Target. I'm meeting my mom here and we're just getting a few other last minute essentials just so we have it. And my mom is already in here. So, so far we grabbed some canned goods, some paper plates, um, some extra water gallons. And we chose to get the gallons so that way we aren't using so much plastic. And we only got paper plates and paper bowls in case like the water gets cut off and like you need you know, plates, and then um, some cereals. So that's as far as we got so far. To be updated, what else do we find? Okay, so my mom and I kind of got distracted, and by kind of distracted, I mean we ended up in the baby section. Cause like, look how cute. This is not preparing for a hurricane at all, but look, it's a baby onesie with, baby. <laughs> with lemons and strawberries. Oh my gosh, my heart is melting. Oh. Okay, fun time is over. Wait, look at this one. It's a short sleeve onesie. Okay, I'm I'm melting. Okay, I'm gonna go back to preparing for a hurricane now. Okay, bye. <laughs> so I just got done at Target. They had everything I needed except for deep batteries. So I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store or see if my mom has them, but yep, I think we're fully stocked on non-perishables and a few other random necessities we needed for this. I just got back from Target. I'm gonna put all this away, but the boys are also here and they're gonna start bringing in the furniture. Um, that'll be fun. So I'll try to capture that process. All the outdoor furniture that we just set up has to go inside. <laughs> And we bring it when it was brought, and now it's been brought, signed, sealed, and delivered. Yeah. By me, who brought it and brought, bring them. Okay, so we have the two chairs over really? here. Really? I don't have to do it. Well, now this I'm is doing awesome. it. Now I just want to come along for the ride. Where are we going? <laughs> and then over here, we just sandwiched the lounge chairs on top of each other. Yeah, and we did that. Yeah, we're gonna we move these. That. But yeah, we did that. <laughs> but yeah, not too bad. I'm just trolling you. I love you. I love Get you back too. to vlogging. Love you guys. <laughs> so. Last week at Costco, I grabbed a lot of non-perishables um, because we thought we were gonna lock down for coronavirus again, but that didn't end up happening. So I was pretty stocked up, but I wanted to grab a few more canned good things. Um, so I grabbed some more canned of tomatoes because I figured that'd be really easy just to mix with the rice and kind of make something. So I grabbed tons of cans of tomatoes. I grabbed some green chilies in case I want to do tacos. I grabbed condensed sweetened milk in case our fridges go out and we need coffee creamer. And then I grabbed evaporated milk um, because in case the fridges go out and milk goes bad, I have stuff to do like mac and cheese with or like instant mashed potatoes, stuff like that. Um, I grabbed a can of French onion condensed soup um, to add to maybe like 
chicken, really simple. Grabbed some canned peaches, grabbed a few snacks. I've been making a lot of ice. I know ice will melt fast, but I've been freezing water bottles and freezing things so that way in case the power goes out, um, we have stuff in the freezer. Um, so I grabbed this so I can fill it with water to throw in a cooler or in the freezer. And then I grabbed some more lighters. And lastly, I grabbed some cereal to munch on. That is all I grabbed from Target. Just gonna pop in here and say that I am quite sick of preparing for the end of the world. I'm like, <laughs> every week I feel like it's something new and I always have to go buy tons of like processed and canned and things I normally wouldn't buy and I have so much of it right now and I'm like, the world is gonna end, like please let us know. If not, also let me know so I can stop buying canned goods and things I don't normally keep in the house. Venting moment over, I'm gonna continue finding spots for all this random stuff. I took a break from hurricane preparation. I actually just heard on the, this is starting to drizzle, awesome. I heard on the radio that it was like a category three um, and we have like a flood watch and things like that, but I don't know if it'll hit us yet. Like we won't know until it gets closer. Um, but I decided to take Hitch on a walk. And you're probably wondering, why do I have a dog stroller? Well, it's a long walk. He's a little overweight at the moment. So I bring the stroller so that way I can keep walking, but I need to exercise him as well. So we've been going on this cute little walk and he actually loves his little stroller ride. Let's say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He doesn't even care. He just loves it. Look at him just looking out that little window. <laughs> so we are about 40 minutes into our walk and this trail is about three miles round trip. I just did it once and I have decided to go for a second round. I did two rounds yesterday, so a total of six miles. So I'm gonna do it again today. To be honest, it just feels so good to like get out and walk. And I honestly love how much he just does it. He just sits in there and looks out. So anyways, we're going for round two. Hitch. Hi, baby. Having fun? Okay, let's keep walking. Come on. I would definitely say Hitch had a good time. Did you have fun? Okay, good morning. Whoa, you're still off center. And good morning. <laughs> it is Saturday, the day before the storm is supposedly supposed to hit. Um, we've been checking the updates and it does say that if we're gonna get hit, it's gonna be on our side of the island, or like pretty much right where we live. So we are taking precautions, um, but it's weird. Nobody else really is. Maybe they'll do it today. Um, Sawyer's so like, maybe just hurricanes hit different in Florida. Um, and he's used to seeing everyone putting up boards. So we'll see, maybe we're just kind of over preparing, but I'd rather be over prepared than get hit catastrophically. Um, that's my opinion. So what I've done this morning is I've washed the sheets in case water goes out or power goes out so I you know, can't use the washer and dryer. I did all the laundry so that way all of our clothes are clean. Um, I made sure all the dishes and everything is done. And then I also scrubbed the bathrooms. Um, first of all, because in case we need to fill up the bathtub, I want obviously for it to be as clean as possible so the bathrooms are clean. And also just so we have a clean bathroom in case all water goes out, you know, I just wanted everything to be as clean as possible. That's it so far and it's only like 8 a.m. <laughs> so good morning. Um, I think we're gonna go clean Sawyer's office. I just want everything to be as clean as possible, like everything put away because we're about to bring in all the outdoor stuff and I just don't want it to be like too cluttered. I want it to be an organized mess. <laughs> all right, so all the laundry is getting done. So now everything just needs to be folded and I just need to make the bed. And I felt like this is a really smart move and funny enough, I texted my mom this morning. I was like, hey, make sure you clean your bathroom and change your sheets on the bed so that way in case anything happens, it's already done and you're prepared for like the week. And she was like, I already did it last night. She's like, great minds think alike. And I was like, oh my gosh, that was a moment. I was like, I am my mother. <laughs> Anyways, let's make the bed.
Okay, the bed is made. I can check that off my list. On to the next. Okay, so a little update. We just got a an emergency alert. National Weather Service hurricane warning is in effect. This area for dangerous and damaging winds. Have food, check. Water, check. Cash, check. Fuel, check. Medications for at least three days. I feel like we're fully prepared. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, we are continuing the boarding up the windows process. Um, yep. And once again, I am just here with the paper. I'm on your life. So we've almost boarded up the whole house. We have one last window. Doing good. Well, they're doing good. First time ever having to do this for my own house. It's good to have friends like Drew. For real though, I was gonna make that into a funny joke, but I, I can't, this is some hard work. <laughs> All right, I'll take the screws. Little tip for anyone that ever has to do this for their house, don't do the bottom half of the door so you can still use doors and get in and out. I've seen people board themselves out of their own house and have to unboard it. Eh. I'm from Utah. Like I've said, never had to deal with this. So I'm like, why would we board up the house? Oh. He's from Florida, he's like, that's what we do. Guys, look how cute he even taped off the dog store so that way they can't get in or out. No weak points. <laughs> no weak points. <laughs> All right, guys, the whole house is boarded except the doors. Um, that'll be last because we have a few things to like bring in and finagle and put away. So that's the plan. I am no longer going to be helping the boys. They're going to continue. I have to take Hitch to the vet because he needs a recheck for his like bladder urine problem that we've been dealing with. So. I'm gonna go play mom for a minute. <laughs> so I just stopped by my mom's. I grabbed a few things that I need from her. I needed batteries. She had like a car charger that you can like plug into and like a USB situation. So it's just like an extra precaution in case our power goes out. We can charge phones, um, etc. So anyways, I uh, just stopped over here to say hi, give the dogs a kiss, and then I'm gonna head back to the vet and pick Hitch up from his appointment. Mom, how funny is it that we both cleaned our tubs and washed our sheets, and then text each other, and we were like, we already did it. Yep. We're pretty smart that way. We think alike. <laughs> we just pulled up footage of the satellites, and this is the storm, and that's us. And it doesn't look like it's breaking up. Cool. It is eight o'clock, so a few hours ago, I got back from Hitch's vet appointment. He is doing well. Um, his little urine infection is gone, and then we're still dealing with something with like his bladder stone, so we may have to be referred to another doctor. Um, anyways, dealing with that, but he is doing okay. And then, when I got home, the boys were hungry, so we ordered burgers, and I brought them back for the boys. So we ate some takeout and prepared a little bit more. Um, and then I just literally made a list of everything that we have to do tomorrow morning um, before the storm might hit. But it's so weird. I was not expecting this, but nobody around us, like not one person is preparing. Um, I didn't see anyone like picking anything up, moving anything. I feel like we were like the only ones and like my mom um, and she said her neighbor was, but it's like, I thought I would see way more, um, so we shall see. I'm gonna say goodnight, I'm gonna go take a shower, go to bed, and see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning. It is about 6.40 on the morning of the storm. Um, according to the news, it is still heading here. I think it's only a category one now, um, with strong winds, obviously, and rain, and there is a chance that it will hit us directly. So we're still waiting to hear. Um, I should probably check the updates again, um, but that was the last that I heard last night. So making some coffee I have my list of things to do and to be honest even if the storm isn't like crazy or like that bad this is a good drill for Sawyer and I to go through when you have a home you have like a responsibility to make sure everything is put away and you're not the one causing like any 
or adding to any like projectile like objects things like that so not just that like we want to respect our home so like we board it up anyway just because in case it does get bad and in case things go flying we don't want windows breaking so anyways this is just a really good drill for us to do and see and like learn from so um, I'm gonna go through this list we're gonna get it done and prepare so first thing coffee second thing on my list is to make some chicken in case the power goes out I want to have like a good chunk of cooked chicken in case like our food goes all bad into frosts and whatever I just want to have something cooked let's cook some chicken at 6 40 a.m. Woo! good morning <laughs> Now I'm just gonna turn this, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna turn this on for about five hours and let this cook down and we'll have a few meals if we need it. It's about 9 a.m. and I think we finished everything on our list. We can kind of see the sky starting to change. Um, everything is strapped down, brought in, um, all that fun jazz. I do need to go pick up some screws from my mom because we needed a longer one, so I'm gonna go do that. And chicken is on. I got some other things defrosting, so I think we're fully prepared. I think it's just so crazy that literally no one around us is preparing at all. If anything, like I've mentioned, it's a good test run, just good practice because I've never been through this. Sawyer has, but we've never done it in our own home. So um, I'm gonna give you guys an updated home tour though because <laughs> I have had fun decorating with the outdoor furniture inside, so I'll show that later. But for right now, I'm gonna head to my mom's, grab that. But I feel so proud that everything is done on our morning checklist. I feel prepared, food is getting ready. <sighs> Bring on the storm. <laughs> okay. Um, everything is boarded up, everything's bungeed, everything literally in our possession is put away. So that is good. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys what we have done. The egg chair is strapped to the porch. We have the trashes all strapped up. Fence is bungeed. Sawyer poked, gave us a little, uh, what is this? Mm -hmm. A little peek hole. And then you can come inside. We only did half so that way we can actually use our handle. And then we have brought in all the outdoor furniture, so I put the bench there, um, and with our shoes, the Aloha sign has been brought in. And then in here, we brought in the outdoor furniture and plants as well. We have the lounge chairs. We're trying to keep the house as cool as possible, so we have the air conditioning going on. Because when that AC, when that electricity turns off, it's gonna get hot. Hot in here. Wow. I love all of our outdoor plants. <laughs> I know, right? It does. It feels like a jungle. And then over here is kind of like our waters and coolers. And we have the outdoor couch. And then as you can see, everything is literally, everything is boarded up. Ollie, how do you feel about it? Oliver? <laughs> he loves the outdoor furniture. He just like lays here all day. And Sawyer's just doing the final touches. Everything is successfully closed and tied off. I feel really confident about it. This will be my first storm. We'll obviously keep you updated, but I'm gonna go shower now that all the work is done. Thanks, babe. The sirens are going off for the hurricane. This is the first time I've heard it, not for a test. They test it on the first of every month, but this is like an actual warning. It shows what you do if it starts flooding. Okay, what, are, what are you gonna do if the hurricane water comes go, in the house? Go swim, swim, go swim, oh, swim. Oh, there you yeah, go, 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 go. He can swim though, trust us. I just came in the room to turn off the light and look who I found. Hi, Nagi. Something really cute and a little fun fact. Hitch thinks that these are like his little bean bags. He loves the throw pillows. Every day, he smushes all the pillows and lays in them. Hi, pretty. Oh, I love you. So it is now about 2 p.m. and this is about the time that they were saying we would start to see heavier winds pick up and rain. We haven't seen it yet, but Maui is being hit at this moment. So it's just a matter of time. Um, so this is probably a little overboard for this hurricane, but again, this is our first one and we're kind of taking it more as a practice round, just so that way, 
if something ever happens, we have the go bags, we know how to put up the wood, we know how to prepare our house. So with that being said, I'm going to work on a go bag. Um, I'm gonna do two go bags. I'm gonna do one with just necessities, like papers, things that we need to survive, and then I'm gonna have a bag with like extra clothes and a few things like that. I've never had a go bag before. I feel like this is something your parents always did for you. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything I need to add to it, but so far I'm probably just gonna do like medications, important papers, and um, like first aid kit and a few of our essential items in this bag. And then in the second bag, we're gonna focus more on like extra clothes, extra underwear, a few hygiene things, yeah start there also I was looking online for recommendations for a go bag and they said to keep all of your important documents in a waterproof like envelope or case well I didn't have a waterproof little case so I walked into Sawyer's office I was like hey do you happen to have a waterproof case for like documents and he was like no but I have a waterproof backpack or at least that it has a waterproof compartment so the beauty of my boyfriend being a photographer he has a waterproof bags so we do have a waterproof compartment for all of our important necessities my go bags are packed um, I have the dogs bag with dog food I have a bag of clothes I have this bag for um, laptops and um, technology if we need and want it and this bag is like our essentials like if we need to run out the door with nothing else, this is the bag. So, I feel pretty prepared. And to be honest, this probably is overkill. Like, I get it. But what this is good for is a practice round for Sawyer and I, like we have mentioned this whole video. Um, so when I unpack these, I'm going to make a list. So that way, if and when this happens again, I know exactly what we need and what I need to add to our go bags so it was just good practice and it really made me think if in an emergency what Sawyer and I needed what the dogs needed what was a necessity what was not <laughs> so anyways those are there feel prepared now four o'clock and we're just waiting um, some rain has kind of drizzled in but they're saying any minute now we should start getting more wind and more storms so Somebody came out from his little lion den underneath the bed. <laughs> what? Ah, what? <laughs> Hurricanes call for cuddle sessions. I love I love I love Okay, so a little update. It is about 7.30 p.m. And I think we're in the clear. And by I think, I mean like 99% sure. Um, it seems to have gone north a little bit. So we really haven't even seen strong winds or rain. We might get some a little later, like throughout the night. Um, but that was a close one. When I say close, I mean like, we literally just barely missed it. Very thankful everyone's safe. I'm glad that you know, we didn't need to use the go bags. I'm glad that like nothing got severely damaged. I don't think there's a hurricane. I think Hurricane Douglas has just moved on. So I'll check back with you guys in the morning and see if there's any updates, if we even got a storm or wind or anything. But yeah, that was a close one, guys. Hitch, you're so adorable. So he has moved positions. He now has smushed all the pillows. <laughs> And you look so cozy. Hi, Hitch. Um, so good morning. It is Monday morning now, and Hurricane Douglas did pass us. Obviously, now we have to put everything away. Um, that's going to probably take me a couple days because we have to take all the wood off around the house. I have to put everything back outside as well as organize and clean because I figured while everything is moved, I might as well like power wash the patio because um, it's not very often you move everything all at once. So this vlog went from being prepare for a hurricane video and survive a hurricane to, oh, a cleaning vlog. <laughs> so um, we're gonna put stuff away today and just start that process. 
So I'm gonna empty these emergency bags, but when I do, I'm gonna make a list of what's in them, so that way I always have that list, so I don't ever have to scramble or wonder what we need in our little go bags. So, I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I am starting the cleaning process. I'm gonna start on the patio and start with that furniture and get that set up. I already had Sawyer help me take off the plywood on the windows and on the door. So I'm just gonna clean this area first and do it in sections. I just feel like that'll be easier for my sanity. So let's get cleaning the porch. So I'm gonna start by power washing the patio. I have like a car wash power washer thing and it works wonders, so. It definitely needs it. So in a way, I'm kind of happy this happened so I can give the house a good scrub. <laughs> and you know what? Since I'm here, I might as well wash the cars. So here we go. While everything is drying off that I power washed for the front, I'm gonna head to the back and power wash that area. Not gonna lie, it feels really good just to get this done. All right, so it's been a few days since the storm has passed. To be honest, we got busy with work, so we didn't end up and we haven't really put the house back together, so still working on that. So I'm gonna work on out here for today and then tomorrow I'll work on the backyard and get it done. I need our house back to normal. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I just found a lizard in the basket, which means the lizard has been in our house for the last few days. Cool. This week got away from us after all the hurricane mess, we just ended up having to work a ton. I had a bunch of things to do and Sawyer was really busy launching his app. So we just been living in a little bit of a mess <laughs> in the house. Um, I got the front porch set up, you guys already saw that. And then yesterday at night, uh, one of Sawyer's friends came over and we took down all the boards. Um, so I'm gonna work on the backyard right now. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna get everything outside and just get it done because I can't live in this clutter anymore. <laughs> Okay, so the backyard is starting to get in order and the inside is starting to not look like my outside, so that's good. <laughs> just gonna finish up out here and then I will end this video. Well loves, I'm just gonna end this video here. I don't even know how this will turn out. It's kind of been a mess of a week. And to be honest, the only reason why I decided to vlog this week is because we started preparing for a hurricane. I was like, you know what, I kinda wanna document this for me because I have never been in a hurricane before, so this is all new to me. So I just thought it'd be interesting in case it actually did happen and just, yeah, take you guys along with the experience. But Hurricane Douglas did not happen, so this was just a little hurricane run through. So excited I could share that with you guys. So with that being said, if you guys have any hurricane recommendations, like things I need to have on hand, um, any tips and tricks for hurricanes, please let me know down in the comments below. I will be sure to add it to my list for next time. I now know when the next hurricane comes around, what to do, how to handle it, what to have ready. So very happy for this experience. That is it. That is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope it's entertaining. <laughs> you guys know the drill. If you guys have not subscribed, please do so already. I talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and home decor here in Hawaii. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.